uh, on airplane. This air, the engine is communicating all the time. It's sending those 10 gigabytes a, a second. And there is ability now to interfere there, which before you actually have to have a person on the plane doing things. So it it's really has upped the ante in many ways beyond what you as a consumer think about. So we get on an airplane, we don't immediately think, is your data secure? Can I please show it? Nor have I signed anything. So maybe, and same with utilities. Yeah. So you can bring them on cities and towns and then countries. So maybe. Tell us about that extra thing beyond what the consumer really is aware of that you have to do. There is a, especially in the industrial world, there's an expectation that's been there for a long time. You know, the assets will perform. Um, for many years, uh, we've been uh, working with our customers to pull down real-time information on assets as they perform in field for many years. That's been done for just predictability, reliability, um, it's also been done for maintenance, scheduled maintenance. The issue in this new world with machine-based learning, data, physics-based models, et cetera, is after that base of you got to do that as the beginning, you can take that to another level. And uh, that's the real opportunity that's opening up. It is the point's been made a couple of times on trust. Mm -hmm. uh, the data's been there. I would say in many of our industries, less than 5% of the data is really mined. So mm -hmm. once yes. you get past the data secure, are we looking at all of the data? And the amount of data that's coming in mm -hmm. is astronomically growing. Yes. So the potential is there too. So the, or the point that's been made around the foundation needs to be secure. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an expectation that it is, but I think more and more people understand that there's always going to be some issues.